ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Because four fights before Kenny Zali's, when I boxed in a, a European title fight, this was, which set you up for a world title fight, I, I went to France for a European title fight. Now, this fight I'm about to tell you about, I boxed a guy called Thierry Jacob from France, uh, a French guy. And um, I, bought, I went to France in his backyard, 15,000 French guys screaming, banned for blood, my blood, obviously. And my whole team was Mickey Duck, my manager, my, my coach, Colin Smith, my brother, Dudley, and myself. And everybody else in that arena was, was, was for Jackal. And that fight shaped my character. Again, I don't want to take anything away from the Roland of a whole fight, but I didn't really know what it was to be hurt in a fight. I, until I boxed Terry Jackal. I didn't know what it was to have to suck it up, as they say, to get up off the deck. I got decked in that fight for the first time in my career. I was hurting so bad in that fight. And there were times in the fight where I wanted to quit. And Mickey Duff knew in the Terry Jacob fight, I got back to my corner, I think it was the end of the, uh, I think it was the end of the 10th, the end of the 11th round. And I just been decked for the first time. And the fight had been ebbing and flowing. From the beginning to the end, it was set at a frenetic pace. And, but Jacob, he decked me at the end of the 11th round. Now, when I go back to my corner, I'm ready to quit. And I promise you, my head's gone down and I'm ready to call it off. Because I, I was, he hit me everywhere. Back of my head, my hip, my neck, my shoulder. I was honestly, I cried. I was crying inside. I was in so much pain. And once my head went down, Mickey Duff lifted my chin with one finger and he said to me, I won't swear and use the words that he used, but he used some very profound words with me. He said, Mackenzie, he said, if you be, be, be quit, he said, you'll be eating dinner by candlelight for the rest of your day. He said, he said, show some character, son. He said, grit your teeth. He said, go out there and fight. Now, in my mind's eye, I knew the fight was lost. I, I knew it was lost. But I think what I showed Mickey Duff in the Jacob fight was that I had character and I, I was a little bit ballsy then, you know, young. And uh, I was on my way back, as, as it were, to, um, to, to, to certainly wilderness. But in the Jacob fight, I think if I hadn't have gone out for that last round, the 12th round, I don't think uh, I would have gone on to beating Kenny Zales because the tactics that Thierry Jacob used to beat me in that fight, I used in every fight I had after that. And bear in mind, I had another 20 odd fights after, after the Jacob fight. And the same tactics he used to beat me with, I used to beat Gabby Canizales with. Because in the Canizales fight, I don't even ever watched it, Luke. But um, I set a really quick pace. I'm really fit. As I said to you, I'm really happy in myself. And I just, I just count the rounds from one to four, four to eight, eight to 12. I used to break the fight down into quarters so I knew exactly where I was at each stage of the fight. Had, had I have stood still in that fight for one minute, I'm sure Kenny Zali would have knocked me out because I watched the Laura, the Lara fight, the Miguel Laura fight. I watched it over and over and over. And Miguel Laura, once he stood still, he was a sitting duck for Kenny Zali because Kenny Zali set him up beautifully um, for the left hook. He backed his, uh, he allowed Laura to back him up into the ropes. He pulled him on, and as Laura went in to finish him off, because Laura had actually decked Kenny Zali, Kenny Zali just sunk him and, and ruined him and finished him. So when I look back over my career, and I look back at the fights that gave me the most joy, most pleasure, and when, when the referee, you know, says the fight's over, and then, you know, the MC takes the microphone and they say, and the new IBF or the new WBO or the new Bantamweight, whatever it was, champion of the world, it's, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. It really is. And I'm so blessed that, you know, I've still got all my faculties, I believe. My wife might say differently. <laughs> but, um, you know, I like to think, I'm, I like to think I'm, I'm still, you know, all together. I've got, I've got all, my, all my faculties intact. And, um, you know, I, I had a fantastic career. Uh, I don't have one regret. If I could do it all again, I would. With exactly the same people. Um, my coach, Colin Smith. Again, he's like, you know, father figure to me. My brother Dudley, sadly, I lost in 95. Um, Mickey Duff, my manager, sadly, again, 
he certainly passed on. But, um, you know, I mean, listen, we're only passing through. And I'm just, like I say, I'm, I'm, such, I'm so lucky to have experienced what I have. And I've got so much sort of knowledge now, so much wisdom. One day I'll pass it on. I haven't found anybody just yet other than my son who I want to train. Um, but I get guys asking me all the time, will I train them, will I coach them? I like to coach people, but I don't actually like to be in the corner. And I don't see myself as a manager or a promoter. I'm not ruthless enough. So, um, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with what I've done. And like I say, if I could do it all again, I would. What would you tell to a young fighter about the business side of boxing that you observe, both good and bad? I would say to any young fighter, the first thing you've got to do before you sign anything, get yourself a lawyer, get the lawyer to look over the, the small print and the contract, read it, understand it, know what your obligations are, and, you know, try not to get tied into you know, like a long-term contract. I mean, obviously, you have to show appreciation and you have to be grateful for opportunities. But once you've established yourself and then you realise that, you know, you realise your worth, then that contract then should be up for renegotiation. Okay. Uh, 